the Queen has agreed to create a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that will mean Harry and William formally separating their staff. Harry and Meghan's team will move to Buckingham Palace, while William and Kate's remain at Kensington Palace. The move is in preparation for the day when Prince Charles becomes king and William becomes the heir. The new Sussex household will be established in the spring after the arrival of their first child, due at the end of April or early May. It will put them on a similar status to three of the Queen's children, Prince Andrew, Princess Anne and Prince Edward, and his wife Sophie, who all have their own offices at Buckingham Palace but also rely on other staff employed by the Queen. Their office will be funded by the Queen from her Duchy of Lancaster property empire, by Charles from the Duchy of Cornwall, and the taxpayer by way of the sovereign grant. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, have appointed their own head of communications, Sarah Latham, a dual British and US national. Ms. Latham, who has worked for PR company Freud's overseeing global corporate accounts, is a former senior advisor on Hillary Clinton's ill fated 2016 U.S. presidential campaign and also worked for President Bill Clinton at the White House in the 1990s. She is expected to be their only dedicated press advisor and will report to the Queen's new head of communications, Daniel McCabe, but will have help from the Queen's other press officers. William, 36, and Kate, 37 have appointed their communications secretary Jason Knopf to the new post of senior advisor. His responsibilities will include advising them on their big charitable initiatives. Mr. Knopf will also oversee a review of the Royal Foundation, William, Kate, Harry and Meghan's charity umbrella organization. A senior royal source said, this is all about future-proofing. 